Hi friends! So ignore how you can see the hairline on this wig. This was after the shoot and my wig was slipping off my head. Here's a little video showing how I made the horns and the corset and how I styled the wig for that Ice Demon cosplay. And uh, that is that thing that you probably saw photos of on my Instagram. Almost. First thing I did with my horns was I drew out a pattern. I originally had two sets of horns for this costume, but I got rid of the ram style ones. They just came out way too big. And it was just really my, like extra. I then put the pattern onto this pink insulation foam. I believe it was either one and a half inches or two inches thick. It was really fucking thick. Like, this shit's hard to cut. I have to use a cutter bit on my Dremel, which I used to make the first initial cut. And then I go in with my kitchen knife, apparently. Why am I using a kitchen knife uh, to cut the rest of it out? Hardware stores sell carving knives. Uh, I generally use those. So, wow, everything is cut out now. Um, Wowee. Pink insulation foam you can get at really any hardware store like Homes or Lone Depot. Homes? Homes or Lone Depot. Woo! Wow, why do I exist? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can get it there. It comes in all types of different sizes. I would recommend getting like the thinner stuff and then like gluing it all together. Oh, what did I use? I think I use hot glue which I actually don't recommend hot glue. I have used like Gorilla Glue, which is like a super glue and that worked really well. So I have no idea what happened with this horn. I was, I have no idea what I was doing when I was sandy, but it turned out like this. <laughs> looks like garbage. It like, ooh, like the top of it looks like shit. So I'm thinking to salvage this, maybe I'll break this right here to make it look like there's a broken horn and just have like that part, you know? But like I'll fix it so that it's like, it looks like it was broken off. Cause this one looks like perfect. But this one, I don't even fucking know what happened. <laughs> So I sanded it down a little more to match the other one and then I created four points at the broken point, kind of like a tooth in a way, or like a crown, and I sanded inward just to kind of create like a, oh, this kind of broke off type of effect, you know? Sometimes if something doesn't come out how you want it to, you can always salvage it by changing the design if you're able to, or just doing something a little different. So, because I had a free creative design with this, I was kind of able to create a story when I broke the horn. So, I will include a little bit of footage on how I shaped the ram horns in case you're curious on build building. In case you're curious on building your own. When you're working with this type of foam, I would highly advise a dust mask or a respirator. Um, I have one that I recommend on my Amazon affiliate shop. It's the same one that I use and it works really well. Once they were all shaped and smooth, I took my soldering iron and with two open windows, two fans, all of that going into that wintry air and a respirator. I started melting the foam to give it more texture. And I also carved in some tiny little details, like little cracks and stuff, especially by the broken one. There's a lot of cracks there. Uh, this can be done with a Dremel if you would like. I just really wanted to test melting this insulation foam. I just like melting things, okay? Like it's fun. I then block the entire view of what I'm doing and I took some wood glue and water mixture. Uh, it is mostly wood glue, and I paint it onto the horns because if you don't, Plasti Dip will eat the foam. You don't have to use Plasti Dip if you don't want to. You can paint right on top of the wood glue. But I just like the finish that Plasti Dip gives, and Plasti Dip makes it very strong. I sprayed about four layers of Plasti Dip on. I had no idea what color I wanted to paint these. The design changed so many times. First it was white, 
and then it was white with blue and like the little cracks and stuff and then it was silver <laughs> so there was a lot happening so here's here's the progress so i painted them white with a white iridescent 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 oh my god i could not get that word out acrylic paint and then i used a watered down metallic blue for the insides all the little cramps They're silver now. I think I just had a night of painting to myself. <laughs> I did not film that progress for some reason. And I also did a thing of that blue down the middle um, on the fronts because I thought that looked really cool. With my airbrush, I was so nervous to start using this thing. I was like, oh God. But then once I started using it, I started airbrushing everything in my house. So with some white, I went in and kind of attacked some of those areas like above each little crack and stuff to kind of give it a frosted look and then i added a darker gray almost black to some areas to give it a shadowing effect on the areas that kind of were sanded inwards and such um, this was my first time working with an airbrush i have so much to learn once i'm finally done painting them i seal them with a clear glossy sealer I can't remember which of these two that I like using the most, so I use both altering coats, and I think I did three coats. Next is attaching the horns to the wig. This beautiful, awesome wig is one I got off of Amazon, and it's in my it's in my Amazon affiliate shop, I believe. I can link it though. It's really pretty. It's a nice lace front. First thing I did was I wrapped two 12 gauge wires around the headband, leaving enough room to slide the horns on, and then I put the headband with the wires on them underneath the wig and then from there i just slid the horns on i did end up hot gluing them you can totally use magnets for this i couldn't find my magnets so i don't i have no clue where they are i then started styling the wig on each side of the horn i made a braid to go around the horns i feel like this kind of hit the bottom of the horns because um the bottom of them wasn't shaped very well I also braided a string of pearly bead things into the hair for an extra bit of extraness and I pinned the hair back and wrapped a 12 gauge wire around it in the back for a little more extraness. And I also added a side braid which I then hot glued some little gem things that I used to decorate the back of those ears that I made. <laughs> So for the corset, this corset actually did rip at some point in the shoot. I made it out of the cheapest fabric ever because it was something that I just had on hand and it was kind of like a last minute type of thing. I was like, oh, I could totally use this to make a corset because the fabric is so damn pretty. To make my corset, I wrapped myself in tin foil and masking tape and I drew the design on it and then I just cut it off of me. I put the pattern that I made onto the fabric and cut it all out and I used that sheer glittery blue fabric facing out and a cottony type fabric on the inside of it. Always with my corsets I wear a steel bone corset underneath so my corsets are made with a plastic or like nylon boning and uh, it's just for decoration. The real like shaper is the one that I wear underneath. So then I pinned in the boning casings and then I sewed them and I actually ran out of boning so only four of the seams have boning in them. Definitely not something I recommend. I normally put boning in like every seam that I make on a corset if that makes sense. I also put it 
on the back where the eyelets are, but I just, I didn't have enough, so I didn't do that this time. After putting in the boning, I installed the eyelets and then I pinned on some satin ribbon to kind of finish off the, uh, the edges there. And I'm adding a ton of cat footage because, oh my god, she's so cute. Look at her. Ugh. it's done so I used a skirt that I made for my fairy costume and I never finished the edges on that either because I'm a lazy piece of shit and I turned the purple parts to the inside so it's all blue and somehow it matched very well it turned out okay I look like an ice demon I guess <laughs> and got to practice making horns so all in all this turned out okay I like the photos from it and it was a fun time I got to go to a park and take photos so it was cool I do hope this helped or inspired you thank you for all the wonderful comments on the photos and for on the set and everything you guys can totally view this the whole set on my patreon including not safe for work stuff and some shibari photos and video from this but thank you so much to my patreon supporters Adam Hunt Ali R Blue Panda David Rosenbaum, Eric, Jim W, Lin Su Cosplay, Murr Kitten, Robert Gallarda, Ryan Craig, and Veldemir. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a super awesome rest of the day. Go do awesome creative things and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye!